Y'all, so I just about fell out when I saw the latest trailer from Prime Video called Swarm, which is a series about a young woman who becomes obsessed with the world's biggest pop star. Now, why did I almost fall out? Well, according to Entertainment Weekly, this series is inspired by Beyonce's fan base, The Beehive. Y'all, <laughs> just last week, I received a revelation about how witch covens that become extremely large are called hives. In my last post, we talked about how there's a deeper meaning to being a part of Beyonce's beehive and how when you're listening to her music or attending her shows, you're actually participating in her rituals and coming into agreement with whatever spirits she's calling upon. So. When I saw this trailer, I was just like, wow, what a coincidence. In the trailer, we're introduced to a character named Dre who falls under a spell of the biggest pop star, Nyjah. Dre's sister is played by Chloe Bailey, who is well known as Beyonce's protege. And the whole trailer just reeks of the beehive. Like it seems like such a subliminal message of what's going on. In the trailer, you can see that Dre loses her mind from the music that she's listening to. She goes into some kind of psychosis and starts unaliving people. Like it's, it's really bad. Like if you know me, I don't believe in coincidences, but don't just take my word for it. If you haven't seen it already, I am going to insert it in this video, but I will give a disclaimer. I did edit out all of the cuss words and as much of the excessive violence as I could. So I will give a disclaimer that you're not spiritually strong. You can skip ahead. I did go back and forth about whether or not I should post the trailer, but I do think it's important to recognize the correlation between this trailer and the discussion we just had about the deeper meaning of saying you're a part of the beehive or supporting Beyonce. So if you haven't already seen it, here it is. If I got to do her makeup, I wouldn't be able to touch her face. My hands would be shaking so <laughs> You still tweeting from that swarm account? Mm -hmm. She is not like everybody else. She knows what we're thinking and she gives it a name. She's a goddess. With your feet on the air and your head on the ground. I gotta go, Dre. I can't stay here with you. Why are you doing this to me? I had to ask you to leave. What do you think she's doing right now? <laughs> Who's your favorite artist? <laughs> You're a killer bee. Part of the swarm. <laughs> Talk about Nyjah. You get stung. They are not your friends. Those are some crazy things. This is feeling a little bit sketchy. You know, I always knew you were going to be something. I was like, she's so weird. You got a spare in the trunk. No! You got a dead body in there or something? <laughs> Who is your favorite artist? You have to meet her one day. Promise me. You will. I promise. Her sister better. She seems more like, you know, spiritual. So I know there's gonna be some people out there who are gonna be like, oh, it's just a trailer. Oh, people are just trolling the beehive, but y'all like there's just way too many correlations here like first of all chloe bailey is starring in the movie and everyone knows that beyonce runs chloe bailey's career so even if beyonce's name isn't in the credits she had to endorse this series one way or another number two like there's there's just way way too many things referencing the beehive like first of all you got naja riding on a horse wearing crystal silver attire like we seen Beyonce do when she promoted her Renaissance album. You see the Running Scared 2 tour and everyone knows that Beyonce did the On The Run 1 and 2 tour. We've also got Dre in a manic state while wearing an H-Town sweatshirt and we all know 
well, maybe we don't all know, but <laughs> Beyonce regularly shouts out H-Town in reference to her hometown of Houston, Texas. We've also got just, just so many things, you guys. Like, <sighs> in the trailer, the way that Nyja is casting spells is by doing these weird dance rituals on stage. And like, hmm, what does Beyonce do on stage? Like, it's just, it's just, crazy if you ask me. There is even that reference to Beyonce's sister in the scene where the girl is like, you know, I think I like her sister better. She seems more spiritual. Like that was in reference to Silage. <laughs> what worries me about this trailer is what it could possibly inspire. Members of the Beehive, like there is this unspoken need to prove that you're the most loyal to Beyonce. So when I'm looking at the comments under the trailer, I see people like joking around, laughing, the Beehive's like, oh, they made a movie about us. And so, I don't know, I don't know. I'm a little worried about what this trailer could potentially inspire. But other than that, again, this was just more confirmation for me. Like one week we're talking about the hive and what the real meaning is. And then the next week there is a trailer released about this hive, AKA swarm, which I forgot to mention. It's rumored that this series was originally supposed to be called Hive, but they went with Swarm instead to not make it too, too obvious. But if you watch the trailer, it's obvious who we're talking about here. So it's crazy. I don't know how much more proof you guys need that the spiritual world is real. Spiritual power is real. You can get your sources from two places, good or evil. Jesus or the devil, if you're not getting it from Jesus, you're getting it from the devil. Remember, Satan comes as an angel of a light. He will disguise himself as whatever he can to get you to not follow the truth. He'll disguise himself as culture. He'll disguise himself as African tradition. He'll disguise himself as your ancestors. But all you have to do is cry out to God and ask him, what is the truth? Who are you? And he'll tell you. All right, you guys, I'm done. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's coincidence or do you think this is more confirmation that there's a darker side to Beyonce's beehive? Let me know in the comments down below. I really enjoyed the discussion we had in the last video. If you haven't checked that out, it was the Tiffany Montgomery and Beyonce drama. Also, before I go, I do want to let you know that this video is brought to you by Virtuous by Veronica Boutique. That is my faith-based business for the virtuous woman looking for modest yet fashionable clothing. I'm a firm believer that you can look good and love God too. I have everything from matching sets, jackets, dresses. Um, and the best part is you can use discount code VIRTUOUS30 to save 30% off of your purchase. So visit bbvboutique.com and I will see you in my next video.